Okay, we're on this Honda Ridge line. We're gonna get started with the bed cover Remove first. These brackets here as a T45. Just have a T45 bit on my impact there. You move it on both sides, the T45s, and then you have to remove the bracket that's in there. And then remove these as well. This is a T40. So you need a T40 and a T45. Remove these brackets on both sides, and it's like this here that holds these nets. You're gonna have to remove both of those upper brackets. And then uh, you, it comes, this rail will mount up here. It comes with new hardware to bolt them on, and then we'll get, it, get everything lined up. Okay, the hardware that comes with the rails, you're gonna have a smaller bolt and a larger bolt. The larger bolt's gonna go here. The smaller bolt's gonna go here. The directions also say to place this rubber seal in behind this bolt here. goes at the top of the rail just down inside there to seal that hole that's left from the
it's just a little tedious getting these bolts tight guys just take your time get them tight in there Okay guys, we got both of our uh, rails mounted, they're tight. So now we just uh, get the cover and slide it up on here. And I'll show you how to attach that. Okay, as you can see, I was having trouble with the figuring out this gasket here. It looks like I'm still gonna have to put a little sealant across here. We got a little gap right there on each side. Got everything locked down. You just slide them hooks up here and tighten this down. Make sure everything is lined up. Make sure your gasket's sealing on both sides. Okay, we have it installed. It's down nice and snug. Everything's sealed up pretty good back here. Yep, looks pretty good guys. Okay guys, we're gonna install this uh, WeatherTech bug shield on the front of this ridge line what you do is you just pop these loose here it's got a as you can see holes there you just line them up slide it up on here figure out which ones you need to pull out then you slide this I'm gonna lower the hood
it has some kind of uh, protective thing on here already but he wants another bug shield on there they give you these little clear spacers you just stick them on there and it just keeps the bug shield from scratching the paint just like that just put those little jewels on there like that Then we'll raise the hood. All right, sorry guys, battery went dead. Um, again, I put the little plastic spacers across the hood. We line up our holes here and they give you these little plastic clips here. You just slide them up through there to fasten it on there and that's about it. So let me get these clips pushed in there and then I'll show you the finished product okay here we are finished product got it installed i guess he wanted double protection on his hood for some reason but that's job three down now we'll move on to the roof rack okay guys on the roof rack here's what we got to do these little trim pieces channel pieces here we have to pop them out on both sides and then we have to cut areas out of them and put them back in and you just lay them back in there i'll show you as we go along but for i'm gonna get these pieces popped out just use your little trim tool here just stick it down in there and pop them out they just, they just snap right in okay guys once we get the trim pieces off we have to go and take these off right here these little gray clips just grab a pair of pliers and pull up on them. Well, just like that. Okay, guys, now I've taken the roof rack out of the box, slid everything together. Takes these little Torx bit screws, there's two in each. We'll go, ahead and go ahead and put those in and then we'll start cutting those trim pieces. Those trim pieces, once you cut them, you just lay them back in there. They don't snap back in. And then we'll be right back. Okay guys, we've got the screws in the uh, crossbars for the roof rack. Now, before we can put the roof rack on, we have to cut these moldings here. And you cut them in pieces. This first piece here is nine inches. Then you cut this one three and a half, and this one actually three and a half inch piece actually gets thrown away. Then you cut one 16 and three quarters. Then you cut one two and a half inches this two and a half inch piece gets thrown away. Then this piece here is 22 inches long. And then the final six and a half inch piece here gets thrown away. So we have to do that to both of them. And then the pieces that we keep, which would be this piece, this piece, and this piece, you just set them down in there and then you put the roof rack on top and the roof rack actually holds them down. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these and then we'll get, get to putting the roof rack on. Okay, once you get your pieces cut, they're gonna sit in here like this and just have the opening for the studs sticking up on each one. Your roof rack will actually set right down on top of these and bolt to these studs sticking up right here. Okay, you set the roof rack up here, set it down on there and just set it right down over the studs. Then you take these little 
bolt bolts here, set them down in the holes and lock it down. And just slide right down in there and screw right down on those studs down in there. Just like that. And I'd go ahead and get them all started loosely before you tighten them down. Okay, you can see now I have all the bolts in there tightened down and you just take your clips here and slide them in till they lock this one here you slide it in there snaps right down on there The one for the front, same way. Well, I need to get the right side. <laughs> this is for the other side. But you see your clip there that goes down. Goes down in this hole right here. So you wanna slide that. Sorry, I need two hands for this. And there you go. Everything snapped in, covered up. Project number four on the ridge line, done.